Okay, uh, good day to all. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Emmanuel Trinidad. I will uh, discuss this topic, week 10 of uh, feedback and control system. Uh, discussion will be uh, signal frog, low graph, uh, closed loop, and open loop, and then other types of uh, parts of feedback and control system. Okay, next we have. Okay, today we will discuss uh, what's the importance of signal flow graph. Signal flow graph is a graphical representation of algebraic equations. It has two basic elements of signal flow graph. As you can see, these are different or uh, you have a subject circuits, uh, different uh, types, but it also used in uh, feedback. We already have what? nodes and branches okay next we have okay we define node uh, node is a point uh, which represent either a variable or a signal there are three types of nodes we have uh, input node output node and mix node as you can see in feedback it is a very important characteristic we have input because uh, the system will not work if we don't have uh, input. For example, uh, input or example is we have a push button uh, to first operate. For example, in elevator also, we push uh, what floor uh, we want to go. That is an example of uh, input. Now we have now, uh, we define these uh, three types of uh, node. We have input node. It is a node which has only outgoing branches. Means outgoing is uh, only because in the signal flow, it, does, it has only uh, one direction. It will go to output. How about output node? It is a node which has only incoming branches. Meaning coming branches in input node is outgoing or exit. In uh, output, it will have uh, to enter or incoming branches it will go to the branches. Uh, later, we will have an example about this node and branches. Okay, next, how about a uh, mixed node? Mixed node, it is a node uh, which has both uh, incoming and outgoing branches. Kumbaga, yung mixed node is pinag-combine na. Combine na yung input node tsaka yung output node. Ito yung representation ng ating signal graph. Later, we will have example. Next. Okay, this is an example of a node. As you can see, let us consider the following signal flow graph to identify this node. As you can see, how many nodes we have there? Okay, we have what? We have four nodes. We have Y1, that is the node one. Y2 is the second node. Then Y3 is the third node. And the fourth one is the Y4. How, what is the difference? As we can see, uh, we already defined the input nodes. What's the meaning of input node? Y1 is how about outgoing and Y4 is uh, outgoing. It means uh, it going to out. How about in uh, Y2 and, uh, and Y3? Uh, y, Y2 and Y3 is mixed node, okay? Because you already have what? You have input and output, okay? Y1 is uh, the input and Y4 is the output node, okay? As you can see in the figure, Y1 is what? Outgoing and Y4 is ingoing. Ingoing to the node, okay? As you can see uh, in the diagram or the figures. Next, how about branch? Uh, we define branch. Branch is a line segment with joint. Uh, which join two node, pinagsasama niya yung dalawang node. It combined. It has both gain and direction. For example, there are how many branches in the example? How many branches? We have four branches in this example. This have what? We have A branch, B branch, and C branch, and the other one is negative D, okay? As you can see, uh, branch connected the two nodes, the 
Y1 and Y2 in branch A. How about in branch B? It connect Y2 and Y3. How about in branch C? It connect what? Uh, it connect uh, Y3 and Y4. And negative D, the fourth branch, it connect Y2 and Y3. As you can see, it called negative D because it has opposite uh, loop. It's going backward. Y, from Y3 to Y2, okay? That is the example of branch. Okay, next. Okay, this is the construction of a uh, signal flow graph. It's just an uh, easy representation of a uh, algebraic sum, uh, algebraic equation, okay? For example, Y2, we have I, A12 and Y1 plus A42, Y4, okay? As you can see in the example, we identify uh, the branches and the node, okay? The node is what? As you can see, as long as it has a Y, it means it, uh, it is node, okay? For example, it, the node will be Y1, uh, Y2, Y3, Y4, and Y5, and Y6, okay? That is the example. In branches, it only has uh, A1 and 2, or A12, A23, A34, A45, A56, A42, A53, and A35, okay? That is the branches, okay? It is easy to identify the difference between node and branches. Next. How about the construction of a uh, signal flow graph? Okay, in example number one, how can we identify Y2 equivalent to y A13Y1 plus A42Y4? Okay, shown in the following figure. Since to get overall signal flow graph, draw the signal flow graph for each equation, then combine all these equations, signal flow graph, and then follow the step signal below. Okay, we will just make a construction of signal flow graph. We step, we start with step one. Okay, as is the step one, uh, the graph is equal to equation y two equivalent to a one three. Okay, we identify first the the branch. Branch is was y four. Then uh, it given a four two. Where is the node a four two? A42, this one, 4 and 2, it means a uh, different, uh, different loop. That's why it's going backward from Y4 to Y2, okay? Next, how about uh, A13? You start with uh, branch uh, A1 and 3. That will become 1 and the 3. But in this uh, equation, it must be what? A12. That's why it show A12, okay? Maybe some uh, written uh, miss or error writing it, okay? That should be A12 because the branch show that is A1, 1, and 2, okay? Next, we go to step two or the second example of signal flow graph. Okay, in second signal flow graph, we have Y3 equivalent to A23, Y2, plus A53, Y5. Okay, we start first with what? We identify the branch A53. That is five going to three. That's why the loop is uh, going backward, okay? That is A53. How about A23 branch? A23 branch, it should be start with Y2 or A2, then going to three, okay? That is the uh, signal flow graph, okay? It's just easy. Next, we go to step three. Step three, uh, the equation show Y4 equivalent to A3, 4, Y3. Okay, we identify what is the branch. Branch is between what? This one, three and four. That's why node three and node four, then we will have branch A3, 4, okay? That is easy, okay? You should be familiarized where is the branch after you identify the branch, then you can uh, identify also the node. Okay, that is easy. Step three, we already identify. How about uh, in step four, 
we identify uh, Y5 or uh, Node 5 will, will be equivalent to branch, then uh, Node Y4 plus uh, A35 branch, then Y3 node. Okay, how we will uh, draw the signal flow graph. Okay, we identify uh, A35. That is three going to five. That is uh, four, uh, uh, the loop is forward. That's why we will have what? The branch A35, okay? That is AC. How about in the... Uh, Branch A425, then uh, we have a loop, uh, we have node 4. Okay, we identify that is Y4 going to Y5, that this is the representation. Okay, that is easy. How about in a step 5? Okay, in step 5, we have a signal flow graph, uh, Y6 equivalent to A56 branch, then we have what? We only have uh, node Y5, okay? To identify that, we go to the node Y5, then Y6 connect it, connect it then we will have the branch A56, okay? This uh, step up to six is a uh, standard or you, you only memorize it or you understand it, okay? It's just easy. After step five, we will step six, we only combine all the drawing or the graph, okay? We start with step one. Okay, step one is y, uh, y4 to y2. Okay, we have y4 to y2 and a12. How about step two? That is uh, y5 to y3, then a23. Okay, we have y5, then a23 also there. Now, how about step three? a34 only. Okay, we have next in step four, that is A35 and A45. Okay, A35 and A45 is now in this uh, graph. Then as you can see, step five, six is already there. A5 and six. Then th this step six is the all the graph, okay? That is uh, very easy only, okay? That is the construction of signal flow graph. Next, we will define what is uh, different types of feedback? As you can see, there are two types of uh, feedback or there are two types of loop we are using. You should be familiar with this for this one. Uh, we have closed loop and open loop, okay? We discuss now. Uh, okay, these are only the conversation of a uh, block diagram, signal flow graph, only a uh, discussion. Represent all the signal variables, summing points, and uh, take off points or block diagram as nodes in a signal flow graph. Uh, represent the blocks of block diagram as a branches in signal flow graph. Uh, and number three, represent the transfer function inside the blocks of a block diagram as a gains of the branches in signal flow graph. Then in number four, that is the explanation, connect the nodes as per the block diagram. Uh, if there's a connection between two nodes, but there's no block in between, then represent the gain of the branch as one. For example, between that is summing point, between summing point and takeout point, then between input and summing point. Later, we will discuss the summing point and the difference between uh, input and other outputs, okay? Okay, this will be the reference for a signal flow uh, graph to make uh, your study or have tutorial other that in control system. Okay, now we will discuss now the open loop and closed loop. Okay, what's the uh, difference between open loop and closed loop? Okay, as you can see, the difference is uh, in the block diagram in closed loop, it has a, what? It has a measurement of feedback to correct the error. As long the output is not uh, uh, received or not uh, not equal or not uh, computed, it will have a plus or minus, okay? We define. The open loop system means the output of the system is free from their input. In the closed loop system, this, this are, uh, output depends on the their input. 
Then the open loop system is called the non-feedback system. While the closed loop is the feedback system. Okay? Ang pagkakaiba lang, difference lang ng dalawa, uh, basta tandaan nyo is yung, you remember, the closed loop has a feedback. Okay? Now we will have example block diagram. Okay, as you can see, we have open uh, feedback system or open loop feedback system. What is the three variables? It has what? Input only. Then after the input, it will have a process. Then the output. Okay. For example, in input, we have a sensor. Uh, other example of open loop is in washing machine. You just put an input. Uh, you uh, you make the timer or ah, you make the uh, washing machine move. Papagalawin nyo yung uh, washing machine through. Uh, Iano nyo siya, buksan nyo lang siya. Pwede nyo siya ilagay doon sa number 2 or 3. Then after nun, yung sino magpaprocess? Did, uh, yung washing machine. Then ang output is hanggang maubos yung number nun is yun. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin siya. Ibig sabihin... Ano lang siya, one process lang yung open feedback system or open loop. Uh, hindi katulad sa closed loop, meron tayong feedback or measurement. Okay? Now we discuss the closed loop feedback. Okay? Uh, input. Input, for example, other example of closed loop feedback. Uh, for example, uh, you are using... Uh, air conditioner or aircon, nagamit kayo ng aircon, ang uh, input nyo, uh, nilagay nyo sa remote control, is, ang gusto nyo yung input is nasa ano siya, uh, 18 degree Celsius. Pero in the, uh, sa visual is nasaan siya. Ito yung mga digital, yung ano, mga bagong aircon. Nasa ano pa siya, 20. Then, i-process nyo yun, pagka-pindot nyo yun, then magpa-process is yung aircon mismo then yung desired yung uh, output is 18 syempre dadaan muna siya saan sa 90 uh, sa 9 uh, sa 19 bago bumaba ng 18 then yun dito sa feedback ito yung visualize niya dito niyo makikita yung visualize niya kung bumababa siya na then dito sa summing junction is yung plus or minus hangga until it it not reach uh, 18 degrees celsius you just uh, make the subtract or make a low the temperature. Okay, that is the example of a closed feedback. As you can see, the difference is closed loop. It is has the device that is already modern or it has a remote control or it has a program. That is the closed loop. Not like in an open loop, it has only one uh, direction or one process. It, uh, it is a device that is uh, uh, not, not modern or usually a uh, device or a machine, yung mga luma na. Okay, next. Okay, this example. What is this example? Open loop or uh, closed loop? You just uh, see the feedback. It has a feedback or a uh, measurement. It has a feedback or sensor. This one is a closed loop. Okay, we start with, uh, this our example is a dryer or uh, yung dryer natin. For example, input, what is your desire? Desired dryness, o yung matutuyo siya. Then, we have controller. Ano yung mga example ng mga controller? Usually, mga controller natin, microcontroller natin, yung mga Arduino, usually, napaprogram na siya. Ano ba, yung mga Gizduino, yan. Siyempre, ang source ng dryer natin is saan siya manggaling sa electrical energy. Then, after this controller, what is now the next block diagram? The next block diagram will be the heating element or sino yung magpa-process. Usually yung dryer, di ba? Then meron siyang heating element. Then after it heat or meron na siyang uh, heating element, then yung clothes. Ito na yung uh, matutuyo yung clothes. Then next, hanggang hindi matutuyo yung clothes, meron siyang program na mag it will go to the sensor. Ano yung mga sensor natin? Siyempre, may marami tayong mga sensor na type. Example, yung mga temperature sensor. Dito kasi dry, dryer is heat, heat sensor yan. Hanggang hindi na reach yung heat na gusto is magkakameron siya ng feedback pa rin or correction. Then later, since may error, for example, ang heat niya is gusto niya talaga is yung tuyo-tuyo na. 
or meron pa rin siyang ano, basa or uh, meron pa rin siyang water doon or uh, it's not yet dry, then it will go again to controller. Then they will have again the same process. They will go to controller, then plus or minus, then it will go to healing element again, then the close. Until it reach the dryness, then it will go now to output. What will be the output? The output will be the actual dryness, okay? That is an example of a closed loop. As you can see, as your uh, EC or uh, computer engineering, uh, this diagram or uh, black diagram is very important in your thesis because we have input, then process, then we have the output. Some in the system, they will have closed loop or the feedback to correct the error. Okay, that's why it is important in the system. Next. Okay, how about this example? It's already show what's the type. Uh, this type of uh, feedback, we have open loop system. Uh, open loop system, it has what? It has the input or the reference. Then, are you familiarized with the transducer? Transducer is a, a device that converts uh, one, ener one form of energy to another form of energy. Usually, ang mga transducer, example is yung mga microphone. Yung ating voice is i-convert niya to sa electrical. Then, after nun sa, uh, uh, sa ipaprocess, dun sa ating, uh, uh, sa ating uh, for example, cassette, uh, uh, yung ating, ano, uh, audio, then after nun, sa output, is i-convert uli yun ng transducer para from electrical to maging voice na siya. Saan siya magiging lalabas or magiging output? Ang output niya is usually is yung tinatawag natin speaker. Okay? That is an example of a transducer. In engineering, is already uh, familiarized with this use. Okay? Uh, lalo sa communication engineering. Okay? We have input transducer, example, uh, yun nga, yung microphone. Then after that, it has a controller. Then next, uh, it has a disturbance that is plus or minus, the summing junction. Then uh, in the microphone, then the process or the plant, who will process that in, in a microphone? That is the audio, uh, yung cassette tape natin or yung ating uh, audio. Then in disturbance too, there have a summing junction again to correct it. Then the output or the control variable. Some of the uh, project, as I see, there have a potential uh, resistor or potential uh, to check if there is a correction to the error or to have the output already. That is the example of open loop system. Only one direction, okay? Not like in closed loop, it has a correction or feedback, okay? Because in an open loop, uh, they only, uh, the, the, the ideal output is already no error. That's why they use the open loop. Okay, next. How about in closed loop? Uh, in a closed loop, as you can see, uh, there only has a output transducer or sensor to correct the uh, error. For example, we have input transducer or microphone or other then it has a plus or minus. Then we have a controller. Uh, for example, is a, a microcontroller, Arduino or Gizduino, other programmable controller. Then it has a disturbance one, then summing junction again. Then the process or plan, or who will process this uh, uh, input, transducer, then it will go to disturbance one. Then until it that does not reach the ideal output, it will go back to what? To the, uh, to the feedback or the transducer or sensor, okay? Then it will go again, plus or minus, then it is a, it is a cycle. Then it will go back to controller, then process or, L, or plant. Then it will reach now the ideal output, okay? Because it's already adjust in the output transducer or sensor, okay? That's example of a closed loop system.
Okay. Uh, these are the five common uh, feedback controls that are widely used. Um, for example, in a modern automated system. A feedback control system consists of five basic. Ito yung tatandaan nyo lang yung pinaka five basic natin sa feedback. Pinaka importante yung input. Hindi siya gagana kung wala tayong input. Mga example is uh, process being control, then output, then sensing elements and controller and uh, actuating devices. Then these are example. Input, then controller then process, then output, then it will go back to sensing elements. This is an example of a closed loop, okay, plus or minus in the summing junction, okay? That is an example of a controller and actuating device. 